I'm going to present the new Miller Safe Escape Elite Automatic Rescue Descent Device. This automatic descent device has a dual function, evacuation and rescue. When used for an evacuation, all you need to do is to hook up the Miller Safe Escape Elite device to an anchorage point that has been prepared in advance or to an anchorage point that already exists on the structure. The end of the rope is then connected to the sternal anchorage on the harness. You can now let yourself glide down to the ground. We're going to rescue a worker following a fall using the Miller Safe Escape Elite. The victim is unable to climb up or down. He's hanging from his harness. I don't need to go down to the victim. I remain safely in position with my fall arrest connection at the same level as the victim's anchorage point. To install the Miller Safe Escape Elite device, I simply secure it to an anchorage point. Once the device is hooked up to the anchorage point, you connect the end of the rope to the victim's harness or to his fall arrest connection if you're unable to reach him. Then you put the slack end of the rope into the pigtail and into the cam cleat situated at the back of the device. You then turn the wheel to remove the tension from the victim's fall arrest connection. Keep turning and removing the rope slack created. You can actually see the tension reducing in the victim's fall arrest connection. This is an effortless process. That's it. As the jam cleats are blocking the rope, I can release the victim's fall connection, which is completely slack. I can now disconnect the victim's fall connection as he's connected to the Miller Safe Escape Elite carabiner. I then remove the rope from the jam cleats and let the victim descend to the ground. You can see that the descent is controlled. If there's any need to stop the victim's descent, all you need to do is press the slack end of the rope. The device controls the descent for a load ranging from 30 to 250 kilograms.